you guys. I hope that you are keeping your spirits high amidst all this chaos. Thank you for joining me in another quarantine happy hour. I'm really excited about today. I've been really, really wanting to get my hands in some color and just like explore. I think it's really important to know how to master a look like this and just like the tips and tricks that I do in today's videos really do translate to a lot of everyday looks or when you're doing New Year's, when you're doing a girl's night out or date night with your boyfriend or you just feel like wearing a bigger like eye look, um, there's a lot of good tips and tricks that you can translate. So today we are having happy hour. It is not fall, but this is my mom's back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids with the P. Louise base. If you're gonna do a lot of color or just any kind of more thick makeup look, you definitely wanna be sure to prime the eyes. That's gonna help the eyeshadow last longer. It's also just gonna give it a better, you know, base. Um, and it's gonna ensure a longer wear, so. It's also neutral, neutralizes the area that we're gonna be doing. So I just like to use my finger and then I'll just kind of like, you know, blend it out and it starts to become tacky. And so that's when it's ready. So when my eyes are primed, a lot of people go back and forth as to whether you should like set the whole lid with um, a powder. And I'm going to today because I feel like it does help like color, especially you just glide over the lid a little bit easier. Sometimes if you use a base like this, like a type of cream base, it can just get too sticky and the eyeshadow like will not blend. So, so I'm just gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Whiting Powder just cause it'll add a little sheen and also set it. And I'm just gonna use a large fluffy brush and just rub a little bit of powder on it. And then it's also kind of like, um, just blending this better into the lid, but I just wanna make sure that it's set and that my makeup is gonna stay all day and also come out looking really, really nice. Today I'm going for a really diffused halo green eye. I'm gonna start with the outer corner and the inner corner first. So basically a halo eye is where it's like super light in the middle and then it's dark here and dark here. We're normally like just your kind of usual smoky eye. It's like light, 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 and then it's like a gradient into the dark the further you get away from the corner of your eye. And the halo has like dark on both sides. So it's supposed to make the eyes look like really round and kind of just like pop out. And so I've been really, really wanting to experiment doing this with green. I've been getting more into colors on eyeshadows. I think there's like a way you can do that every day and I will definitely be doing some videos of that in the future. But today I'm gonna go all out and just have fun and just like really play with some makeup. So. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out with this Better London palette and I've never used this before. I got it in BoxyCharm, like I get a bunch of my makeup. <laughs> and I'm gonna go into this star. It's kind of like a nice, almost like camo green. And I feel like that's how I want the base of my eye to be so that it's not too like character, character, character. I don't want it to be like, you know, I'm like an anime character. I want it to be more runway. So I'm gonna go in here and here and start building that halo. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Morph 35B. It's an amazing color palette. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore because I kind of think they replaced this with the James Charles palette, which I think has a board of better formula, but this has a lot of greens in it. So I think I'm gonna step into this one next. And I'm still just trying to build up that halo. start going under the eye a little bit. I'm gonna start out again with the Butter London Star. Yeah. And I'm continuing to build up on this Morphe palette. I'm now dipping into the one below. Seems like the mattes in this palette work a little bit better than the glittery ones. taking the ColourPop Mar palette, which I love because this blue is everything and their foils in this are everything. I've never used this green color, but now I'm gonna use it and continue to add into that corner. Then I kinda wanna start 
start building like a little bit more of a wing look and get a little more dimension, I'm gonna use the Alomar Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go in with Cecilia right here with a finer brush to just do a little bit better of a detail work. And I'm gonna kind of like look straight in the mirror and like I'm thinking of a cat eye, kind of build like a little triangle around there. palette by Bad Habit. It is a dupe for <laughs> the Anastasia palette, but I forget which one. But I'm going to dip into Ecstasy, which is like a really green color, and then continue to build up that outer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back in and just kind of blend. It's getting really messy. Oh, 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 wow. I just made that a lot worse. Let me go get a little, little makeup wipe. We're just gonna go in and clean this up a little bit before I start doing the light part on the middle of the eye. It's getting very, very messy. Good enough for now, I'm gonna start building the halo part in the center. And for that, I wanna use the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadow. This is in shade We Jammin', and it's like dried out a lot. I'm just gonna spray my brush. And then dip into that, and that should help kinda make it really nice. So. A little bit. I guess let's like check it out of my eye. Yeah, it looks good. And I just want it right in the center of the eye. Whoop! I thought I dropped some in my my drink. But I'm just gonna go in and top it. Um, back with the Aura palette and just use shade Phenomenon. It's a very light, light color and it should give off the look I want. There we go, yes. And then, I want it to look a little more green. It's kind of looking like kind of like an oil spill right now because that uh, Almar color was so like reptilian almost looking. So I think I'm just gonna go back in with my morph and I'm gonna add with my finger just a little more on the side and just kind of pat it in so that it looks really like green again. And with the clean blending brush, I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit better. Okay, I am loving it so far. My lid is looking really, really glossy. So, let's get started on face. Whoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Becca, what is this one called? Instant Complexion Refresh. Um, first light primer filter. You can see it just makes your skin look really awake. And also, I am going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear and mix it with the Farsley Rose Gold Elixir. And this is just gonna give me the most dewy, dewy base. <laughs> Woo, hiccups. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of my hand, do like three drops. And then using my It Cosmetics foundation brush, I'm gonna mix that together. And as you can see, it even looks really glossy already. And just kind of start at the center of my face and blend out. Look how good that looks. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And then I'm just gonna take my Moist Beauty Blender and start blending it out. And as I'm blending, I'm trying to maintain um, a nice eye shape. Next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And 
And then today I'm gonna go in with the Max Strobe Cream and just put a little bit on my Beauty Blender and kinda tap that in. Next I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and add a little bit of definition. I shake it off like this powder on it and there's not. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my forehead just a little bit more. Since I wanna keep the skin really dewy and editorial, I'm actually not gonna set with powder. So I'm just gonna go over my contour a little bit more with the Smashbox Trio Sticks. I love these guys, they're amazing. They last a long time. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Cloud Paint by Glossier in Haze. Keep it a little purpley. And I'm gonna go very, very, very light. So this is gonna be tough. And then to brighten and set the eye just a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Brightening Powder. I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender. Look, like it's a little more moisture so my under eye doesn't look really dry. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorite highlighters. This is ColourPop in Glazed. It's like a really pretty gold. Um, let's see, what, what finger is clean? We'll just use this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little more of the RMS highlighter just so that it looks dewy, not just glittery. I'm gonna go ahead and set this face. And I'll just do brows and mascara off camera because there's nothing exciting about it. Okay, that's that. All right, time for lips. So I wanna keep it glossy and kind of almost natural looking. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Venus. Her lip liners are amazing. They really outlast any other lip liner I've literally ever used. So I'm gonna go on the outside. And I'm gonna go with the Glossier Gloss. And just add a little more color to the center. Get off some extras. All right. And here is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please comment and like and subscribe. I love hanging out with you guys and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will see you next time. Bye. Sally. Okay, your hand, your paw's stuck. Yay! She came in. Okay, fine. Go back to the bed. Go back to the bed. <laughs>